If you own a 1975 to 1995 Mercedes, there's something I'm going to encourage you to do if you haven't already done that. Uh, encouragement is the mild term, but I want you to remove the battery and inspect the battery tray. What I'm seeing now in almost 80% of the cases in these cars, you will find rust. They're old. And you, you combine moisture with uh, acid gassing off from the battery, and that is just a ripe area for the promotion of rust. I have two cars here, a 76 240D and a 1990 300 SE. I both recently acquired these. And sure enough, I said, okay, I'm going to pull the batteries. Uh, this one, we pulled the battery to get it started, and, and I, I saw the rust. And I'm going to say, you, you have to deal with this rust. You have to deal with it now. If you just ignore it, it's going to grow and grow and grow. Let me show you what I found in the tray and underneath the tray area in this W115-240D. Now, believe it or not, this is quite an amazing looking uh, W115 battery tray for being 38 years old. I'll show you in a minute why, but you can see the rust forming here. Uh, this is the drain hole. These are bolt attach points, but look right along this edge. And right in this area, you can expect this, if I ignored it, that this would eventually rust through, okay? And don't just clean up and, and coat your battery tray within the car. You want to remove it, and this is why. Look at the backside. Okay, there's the reason. See that? It's got a Mercedes uh, sticker on it, meaning this has been a replacement tray. But look at the rust forming here. Once it starts forming, you can see how it's just growing and growing, and eventually this whole area right in here will rust away. So we're going to treat this now with Miracle Paint, and a little bit later in the video I'll show you some of the things we're going to do to prep it to get it ready to put a Miracle Coat uh, on it so it will stop the rust. Now let me show you what it looks like underneath the tray in the engine compartment. Take a look right here. Another classic example of why you want to remove the tray. We've got uh, heavy rust right in here, and this is getting very weak right in this area. You can't see it in this scene, but right down here, I've got uh, some rust forming. So we're going to deal with this right now. Uh, we're going to coat this with Miracle Paint, and if it's real weak, we'll actually reinforce it with a little bit of fiberglass cloth. The rest of the area is not too bad. There's a little bit of rust. The rust usually forms at the attach points because that's where the moisture is trapped and the rust begins. Now let me show you the W126 chassis 1990 300SE battery tray. On a lot of these models, uh, like this W126 chassis, look at how uh, cramped it is where the battery is. This you know, window washer tank sits right down there. You have to lift this up. You've got to get down here and remove the hold down clamps. But you cannot even inspect the tray down there until you get the battery out. So in any case, you need to remove the battery for the inspection. And in most cases, just like here, I can guarantee you that you're going to be surprised just like I am. A little shocking, isn't it? Look at that. I'm not surprised because I've seen this a lot, even on 1990 to 1995 models. Uh, once again, classic example, if you don't take care of this, this is going to rust completely through. And I can guarantee you when you see this rust this bad, there's going to be problems underneath. Most of these trays are held in with a couple bolts and maybe one or two nuts. So we're going to remove those now. If these are badly rusted, you may have to grind them off. I know sometimes you can't even get them out if they're badly rusted, but we're going to get the tray out and then we'll come back, take another look at what's underneath. This tray actually had three bolts and one nut. There was a, a bolt on this bracket kind of hidden underneath that window washer tank. This is kind of a, a typical configuration. This is the same in the W123 chassis, but look at, we have a, a tray that's about 50% rusty on this side and then on the back side we've got some real weak areas. This corner started to rust through. We've got all the drain hole areas are weak and this area right in here. So we're going to have to do some major cleanup on this. Let me let me show you what I found underneath the tray. The rust is not too bad underneath the tray. We've got a little here. You know, under a W123, this is going to be a big problem because there's not adequate drainage. But look at the, the amount of leaves and junk that we've got. We've got to make sure the drains are cleaned out, and we've got to vacuum this whole area out and double-check for any rust, and then we're going to coat that with Miracle Paint as well. Nothing works better than a big, powerful shop vac for getting all these leaves 
and junk out of these areas, you know, in the corners of the drains and underneath the battery box tray. Sometimes you even suck up stuff you don't want to suck up. Okay, now let me show you the difference. Now I can see what I need to work on. You know, I don't see any rust down in this area. I've got some rust on this bracket. This is heavy, a heavy steel bracket. This isn't a big concern, but I do want to, I do want to stop this. But what I'm concerned about is this right in here on the body panel. That's starting to rust there. Eventually that'll rust through, causing a hole into the car. And that's how a lot of water gets into your car. It comes under the battery tray, particularly in the W123. We'll clean this all up with my uh, purple power and sprayers and then we'll coat it and come back and show you the end results. Now the real fun begins. I've got two rusty battery trays to clean up and a couple areas in these engine compartments. Uh, you know, if you had a cabinet sandblaster, that'd work great for the trays. It'd be very quick. But what's nice about using Miracle Paint is you don't have to remove all the rust. If you're using any other product, you would need to sandblast and completely get any rust out of these trays. And even having a sandblast cabinet is kind of tough. So I use this tool because I know many of you may have this tool. You're going to see this tool cropping up in a number of my videos because the more I use these, these variable speed multi tools, the happier I am with what you can do with these in and around working on old cars particularly like trying to get down in here in these tight areas to get these rusts, the rust out of these drain holes and so on. So I'm going to show you up close how this works. Once again, you don't need to get all the rust off. You need to get all the flaky rust off. You need to get any of the, the you know, the, the roughness. And you need to sand out into the painted area. I'm not going to put Miracle Cone on the entire tray because it doesn't stick that well to paint. It sticks to rust, okay? And we kind of blend it in, and when we're done, we're going to spray paint the whole tray. So let me show you how this multi tool works on one of these right here. Here's the tool, and here's the special attachment. I like this pointed attachment here because it can get up in corners. This is the same attachment I use for my aluminum anodized polish kit. Now I'm going to stop just here a second and put my respirator on because uh, you know you should wear a respirator. So I won't talk as I show you just a couple areas where I'm going to. Uh, knock this rust down and smooth it out. Okay, now you can see what I've done is I've knocked off all the loose rust and scale and I've sanded out into this area. I may hit this once more. What I do is I use one pad that kind of tears the pad up when you're doing the rough stuff and then come back and do a little bit more to smooth these areas out. And then I'll clean this. I'll clean this with a brake cleaner or lacquer thinner and get all the junk and the rusty uh, dust off of here. And then we'll come back in once we get both these cleaned up and show you how we're going to apply the Miracle Paint. Okay, I've prepped the W115 battery tray. You can see where I've, I've sanded the areas and tapered them out from the rust spots, both on the top and the bottom side here. I should mention a couple things. One is if you have an air compressor, this is only going to work if you have an air compressor, these little air die grinder tools with the, the small sanding attachments like you see here, these work even better than the multi-tool. And they allow you to really cut into the metal uh, a lot quicker. But if you don't have if you don't have a compressor and air tools, then the multi-tool is probably your best bet for the cost. Now, when you're using Miracle Paint, uh, we send out complete instructions on how to use this. But one thing I do want to mention, this does have a shelf life. You know, three to four months shelf life, and it is it kicks off with exposure to air. So if you're doing a small area, it's okay. You can lift the, the lid off and get some, get some Miracle Paint out of there but immediately close the lid. Don't walk around with the lid off or this is going to get hard in the can. The other thing you can do is take this and pour it into a little container and then work from the small container. But what I'm going to do here is all I'm going to do is cover 
the areas of rust and the areas I've sanded. Once again, Miracle Paint does not stick well to smooth paint. So you do not want to coat the entire tray with, with the Miracle Paint. Okay, now I'll let that sit. It'll, it'll flatten out a little bit. Then I'm going to lift the can up. I'll get another little application of Miracle Paint. And then I'm going to come in and do this area. And you just lay it on. We, we sell the heavy-duty thick Miracle Paint. It doesn't tend to run. One of the things I don't like about POR15 is it tends to run all over the place and doesn't is here as well as Miracle Paint over the long haul. Okay, that's all I need to show you at this point. It's going to take me a few minutes to go around and do all these spots and do this bottom section. Then we'll do the areas inside the engine compartment and I'll come back and show you the final uh, results before we reinstall the tray. I have the two battery trays coated and painted and look at them. You'll have to admit that that looks a lot better. Obviously, it's not going to look like factory brand new unless you spend a lot of time sanding and recoating and filling and so on. But I'm more interested in having it protected against future rust, okay? And once you get the battery in here, this is going to look just fine. And looking down in the engine compartment, you can see where I've coated those rust places here. And, you know, once again, I don't need to... Uh, coat those with the color of the car because they're going to be kind of hidden down underneath the tray and in behind the battery. So I will just leave those like that and go ahead and reinstall this tray and we'll get the battery back in the car and we'll be, we'll be going down the road. Now there's a couple things I should mention that I didn't mention earlier is when you're prepping the battery tray uh, for the Miracle Paint, it has to be super clean. If you have any oil or grease on uh, the tray in the metal, embedded in the metal, the Miracle Paint is going to fisheye, and by fisheye it's going to get little bubbles that will start separating from the surface. So what I recommend you do, even before you start sanding, this is really important, if you take a power sand of this and you've got grease and dirt, that sanding disc will pick the dirt up and it'll grind it right down into the metal. So it's very important that you clean the battery tray thoroughly even before you start sanding and scraping on it, okay? One of the best products I've found to do this, believe it or not, is good old Bon Ami. Um, you know, you can, you can get and really scrub up a heavy paste. We're not just talking about a, a soapy substance here. We're talking about a heavy paste. Rinse it, do it again, and the tray should run. The water should just bead right off. It shouldn't, you know, look like it's got wax on it or, or oil. Usually if you've been around cleaning things, you know if you've left a little film on it, you know you're gonna, the little water spots are going to kind of pop up like, like you see just after you wax a car. And then this is really important. Don't try to put Miracle Paint on this if there's any moisture. Now you might think it's dry, but if you've just cleaned it and washed it and rinsed it and you think, oh, I'm going to start, I just dry it with a towel, you can have a real problem. You'll also get fish eyeing. So I recommend that if you can't put it out in the hot sun, you get a, you get a hair dryer, a blow gun, and really make sure the surface is dry before you put the Miracle Paint on these. Uh, anything, anything. Make sure the surface is dry and totally moisture free. Now I mentioned, I mentioned something else about Miracle Paint not wanting to stick to smooth painted surfaces. Well, it'll stick. But what I meant was over the long haul. Because look at here. It sticks to, it sticks to wax paper, okay? So don't, don't think you can coat your uh, tray and put it on wax paper and not have it stick. Look at how hard this is. I mean, you can't even bend the paintbrush. So don't expect to reuse these paintbrushes. Always use gloves. My instructions emphasize this. And always when you reseal the lids, always put either a, plast a piece of plastic or wax paper because if you let Miracle Paint in that groove and you seal the lid, you will not get the lid off. I guarantee it. <laughs> the lid will actually bond to the can. So I hope you found those tips helpful. Um, once again, there's not too many ways you can fix that battery box rust. And as a side note, if you want to prevent it in the future, one of the best ways to prevent this type of battery box rust is to purchase and install an AGM battery. Now, if you want to know more about AGM batteries, uh, I, I'm going to leave a link. I have a video on those batteries. 
uh, in the show more description. Also, if there's any of the products or any of the uh, instructions, manuals that I've mentioned in this video that you're interested in, I will put links in the show more description of the video below.